Sam Yegan is a leading serial entrepreneur who has successfully launched, grown, and sold companies in the consumer internet sector. In addition to his role as co-founder and CEO of OKCupid, <laughs> you can't say that without smiling. He also enables budding entrepreneurs to get their start through Accelerate Labs, a leading startup accelerator in Chicago, which provides seed money and mentoring. Sam is a driving force in the growing Chicagoland innovation and entrepreneurial ecosystem. He was recently named to Crane Chicago Business List of 40, under 40, and is frequently interviewed by technology and mainstream media. Sam and his wife, Jessica, also an IMSA alumna, are donors to the IMSA Fund and seated the Eric McLaren Endowment for Integrative Learning and Ethical Leadership with a significant contribution to the EMSA Fund this year. I respect your wife and you for honoring Eric McLaren for his distinguished leadership, and I congratulate you on your Alumni Distinguished Leadership Award. Please join me to receive your award, Mr. Sam Lincoln. Wingy, you made my day. So excited. So the, the best news I can get on any day is that somebody met the love of their life on OKCupid. So that um, we all make the world a better place in our own ways. And, and that, I hope, is uh, one of my biggest contributions. So please send my best to your family. Um, thank you very much for that very kind introduction and for, for the award today. Um, I, am, uh, I, I am the founder and, OK, uh, founder and CEO of OKCupid. And that makes me a professional love maker. Um, <laughs> Certainly a title that none of the faculty or staff in this room would have expected me to have based on my uh, dating prowess at IMSA. Um, IMSA has become a very central part of uh, my life. Um, of course, I was a student there. Uh, to this day, all of my best friends uh, are from that period of my life. Uh, we get together uh, every New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve is still an IMSA event uh, for all of our friends. Uh, my brother Danny uh, went to IMSA and uh, I met my wife at IMSA, so it is uh, the the picture from our first date at Autumn Dance, 1993, is still framed in our living room. Um, and in fact, next year we're going to do a big, uh, we're going to do a big recreation of Autumn Dance. We might do it in the act pit if uh, if you'll let us, if you'll let us have it. Um, so I have to really ask if the uh, the administration and staff that was there in, in uh, 1995 really would have ever expected me to be here winning this award. Um, I'm going to share with you some highlights of my IMSA career. Um, I should. Copy this by saying my friends and I were generally good guys. Keith, you vouch for that as one of our RCs. Um, but here's some of the highlights uh, of interactions we got to have with some of the administration. Um, we once got in trouble for stuffing the ballot box for our prom theme. Um, turns out that uh, we had uh, uh, forgot to rip up the list of voters. And so the number of ballots in the box was twice as many as the number of votes that had been cast. Um, and uh, Kim. Uh, called me, into, f somehow found me immediately and was like, Sam, why are there more v ballots in the box than voters? <laughs> Don't know why I got in trouble for that. Um, we once got in trouble for instigating a food fight, um, throwing food across the quad out, uh, into, uh, out of our window into another room's window. Um, there were eggs and raw meat all over the roof um, that again was somehow traced to us. Um, I'm going to date myself here because I'm going to reference an answering machine. Um, we once hijacked an RC's outgoing answering machine message uh, and replaced it with uh, something far more humorous than his name and his phone number. Um, we once convinced an RC, not Keith, uh, to let us drive his car in a snowstorm to pick up pizza because it was too dangerous for them to deliver pizza to us. Um, too bad none of us had driven a stick shift car before, so we ended up stuck in the middle of an intersection. Again, there were no cars out, so there was totally safe. Um, and we once uh, prank called our varsity basketball coach and offered him a head coaching job at the University of Texarkana, um, which you seemed very excited to have uh, until he realized that it was just us. Um, so here I am somehow a distinguished alum. Um, and so, 
so I wondered, um, you know, how did the rest of this group do that had, that had performed all of these uh, wonderful tasks? Um, and I was just looking around literally from the people that were in my graduating class in my wing, and I was just kind of running down as I was thinking about my comments tonight, what are they up to? Um, and I think, uh, you know, like Winji, I was like, I'm the underachiever here. Um, my friend Chris is one of the leading forensic microscopists in the world. Um, he's constantly called on to testify and to solve problems that local and federal law enforcement can't solve. Um, and I'm constantly impressed by what he's doing. Uh, my friend Nick um, is working at the NSA, solving, you know, again, uh, service to our country, trying to solve some of the, trying to keep us safe using his math PhD. Um, my friend Marty was the youngest partner, uh, youngest person to make partner in his cohort at Deloitte, and he's made a big contribution to IMSA through his work um, on the fund board. Um, my brother, even, has managed to uh, make a contribution somehow. Um, he, uh, he's been doing some tremendous research on um, the value of education, and his work was cited by President Obama in, the state of, in his State of the Union this year. Um, and my wife, uh, as a, just a tree hugger, as I always thought of her, um, she's making a difference. Uh, she works in sustainable supply at McDonald's, and she's, through making their sourcing and their uh, business practices, making the world a better place. So when I look at all the impacts all of my, both my family and my friends from IMSA are having, um, it somehow puts running an online dating site in perspective and just kind of wondering uh, why am I the one here, but, uh, but I'm very honored um, to be here. And I'm constantly reminded every time I, every time I walk in my house um, or see any of my friends just how impactful um, all the alums are. Uh, there are my, my passion is entrepreneurship. Um, I think I got that passion from my parents who immigrated to this country, and I think immigration is, is probably the ultimate form of entrepreneurship when you think about taking a risk and putting everything on the line for a very speculative return. Um, but it's something that I, I didn't really know was in me, um, but I think that IMSA really helped develop um, this constant quest for asking the right question, again, which was talked about earlier, it being more important than the solution, I think is core to, to entrepreneurship. Um, when I graduated from IMSA, I went out east to school and stayed out east and then, and then went west for a while. But I'd been gone for about 12 years. And in that 12-year period, I hadn't been quite as involved with IMSA as I probably should have been. Um, we moved back to Chicago in 2007, and I decided that I wanted to get more involved in the tech scene here. Turns out there wasn't much of a tech scene in Chicago. Um, the entrepreneurship, this was pre-Groupon, so that's, I guess, that's now everything, all that matters. Um, but this is pre-Groupon, pre a lot of the stuff that's going on now, and uh, I really wanted to get involved. And it was hard. There just wasn't a lot going on. And so I found myself talking about IMSA all the time to everyone. Um, wherever I'd go, I would tell my IMSA story. And I have a bunch of IMSA stories, but the one I like to tell the most um, was I think how IMSA really was a microcosm of the entire Chicago tech community. Um, if you think about um, some of our, our alums have, have either started or been involved in some extremely, extremely notable companies, Yelp, YouTube, PayPal, Netscape. Again, makes OkCupid okay just a little drop in the bucket. Uh, but what all of those, company, what all of those companies have in, in common is that they're all Illinois talent that ended up moving out to the coast. And my central philosophy about entrepreneurship in Illinois and in Chicago was that we have the talent and we have the resources. And we're training them. We're bringing them up. We're teaching them what to do. But we're just not retaining them. And when I said that one high school out in the cornfields has started all these companies, it really, that, I think that one slide I had on IMSA really had more impact um, as I started to go out and tell the story to people than any other, any other thing I said. They said, how in this one place could we have had all this great entrepreneurial talent and let it all get away? Um, now, many of us have come back. Many of us are active with IMSA and active in the community. Um, but we all took our professional pursuits elsewhere. And that, I think, really convinced people um, who were skeptical about whether Chicago could compete on the national stage with New York and San Francisco, that we could. And um, so I started uh, with, a, with a bunch of other people, uh, this thing called Accelerate Labs. And really, it's a boot camp in leadership. Uh, we take uh, 10 companies that um, are early seed stage companies that usually just two or three people, um, and we put them through a 90-day program. And by the end of the program, we've introduced you to all kinds of wonderful people in Chicago. Um, we've given you advice on your business. Uh, we, uh, the last day of the program, we rent out the House of Blues, and we fly in investors from all around the country. And we give people their chance to tell their story and to raise money with the hopes of staying in Chicago. Um, and when I think about how, 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 much, how many parallels I see to that, to IMSA, where it's really put you in the right environment, give you access to all the talent. But you still have to do all the work. But we're going to help you ask the right questions. I think that's just been so powerful. Um, and now I've seen it come, and sort of in parallel with that, you know, is all the work that 
uh, Jim and the team here has been doing with the talent program, which has just been so uh, so impressive, and I've been uh, happy to get involved with that. Um, and just today, in fact, uh, at, so Accelerate is a summer program, and it's happening right now. And just today, uh, Jim brought in uh, how many how many MSA kids were there? So we had six kids come in, and they were sitting side by side with our CEOs, listening to Paul Lee, one of the most uh, prominent venture capitalists in Chicago, give advice to the CEOs about how to how to close a deal. And the you know seeing the IMSA kids there being exposed to that was just such a good melding of of some of my passions. Um, and as a result, in part of Accelerate and all the other Chicago Renaissance, there is now something called 1871 in Chicago, which is this co-working space uh, where technologists and and venture capitalists all kind of come together. And uh, I was so thrilled when IMSA sponsored a room there. And just yesterday I was walking in and somebody said, can you direct me to the IMSA room? And it was just so cool to see IMSA sort of now being synonymous and, and just in the conversation with Chicago entrepreneurship. Um, so I'm just uh, so excited and so thrilled uh, to see the impact that IMSA is having now, uh, both in training its students for entrepreneurship, but also being involved in the Chicago entrepreneurial scene. Um, in closing, uh, I, I want to say a few words about uh, Eric McLaren. Uh, someone who's, I think, been uh, very dear to um, a lot of us. Um, I think he, uh, he's embodied the leadership that is referenced in this award, and uh, I think something, someone who's been an inspiration to all of us, certainly um, when he was in good health, but I think even more so as his health has deteriorated. I think the, the leadership that he's shown um, has been um, really impressive and something that I've just learned a lot from getting to, getting to work with him and um, and just be with him as, uh, as he's gone through this terrible situation. Um, so it's been our pleasure to uh, be part of uh, the Eric McLaren Endowment and uh, very excited to see, uh, to see his name and his work live on going forward. And I'd like to accept this award and, um, in his honor and dedicate it to him um, uh, and Kim and his family. Thank you. Thank you.